Hello there. This is uh, CJ Miller. I'm in Shreveport, Louisiana. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk about my little creation, which I'm sure is uh, not new. It's basically just a a taco. Um, (laughs) But so I call it a two day taco because it it takes about two days for me to do this. And so what I do is I have, uh, do you know that blend uh, that you can get that I've talked about? Uh, It's, um, you know, bell peppers and, uh, you know, green and red. And then there's some onion. If you can get some celery, that's great. I chop some fresh onions in it. That's what it looks like on the inside. Kind of looks like, uh, <laughs> you know, it kind of looks like what I imagine a uh, Taco Bell <laughs> filling looks like. It doesn't look that great, but when you fold it over, it tastes really, really good. What I do is I uh, take those seasonings and I put them in a, uh, my favorite uh, taco sauce. (laughs) And uh, if I use some stock or broth that I have, that really, really helps also. Uh, And then a little bit of, uh, you know, red pepper or, you know, chili pepper or whatever, you you know, to to the intensity of your heat. But what I do is I do those vegetables and I do that, I do that in the broth. Okay. Uh, When that gets done, and, and it's uh, and it's a meat broth that I use. You can use a vegetable stock off, but I like to, you know, use a broth with it. So what I would do with that is I take it and I put it, uh, after it's done and it rests, uh, I put it in the fridge uh, for a day, uh, up to two days, actually. Uh, and you can use that for various things, but what I like, because it's kind of a marriage of, uh, you know, aromatic uh, vegetables and uh Animal broth. Uh, you can use it with uh, beef broth, uh, pork. Uh, you could use lamb. You could use a fish broth. You could do that. You could do those things with it for, for various purposes. Whatever it is that you'd want to use. Uh, and there's various recipes uh, uh, in various restaurants and various types of soups and things like this. This is a. Uh, 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 they were marin- This was done with a, a chicken broth, actually. Uh, to be honest with you. And so, and then what I did, and I call it two days, uh, what I did is I skim all the uh, excess fat off of it. And then I put uh, what there is back into the skillet, brown, probably uh, about two pounds of ground, ground beef. And then I, uh, you know, I these are store-bought tacos. I mean, store-bought uh, soft uh, tortillas. Uh, and uh, it's a pre-shredded cheese. The, the secret, what makes this really, really delicious is letting those vegetables sit and uh, intermingle their flavors for a day or so. You can do it on the same day uh, with the seasonings that you add and everything like that. You can do all that on the same day uh, and go, go straight from a, a vegetable pan to the, to the, to the beef and everything like that. And that's great. And it's still going to be good, but it's not going to have, uh, do you ever wonder why food tastes better the second day? It's because, uh, flavors get intermingled Uh, and it's great. So some experiences you want, uh, some culinary experiences you want there to be, I'm sitting here eating a taco with a fork (laughs) and that's because whatever, if you want to throw some, uh, tomatoes and lettuce on here, at the last minute right before serving you can it would work um this would make uh, depending upon the amount if you wanted to do enchilada or something like that or verde sauce or something this is very basic um i diet most of the time and so uh because of the way that i diet uh you know smaller portions so one of these for me tonight but there's like if I wanted, this would be great because you could take these and then you could lay two or three of them out. Or you can make a bunch of these and put them in a metal tray. And you could take them to a, a party or a covered dish or, you know, a potluck or something like that. Uh, it, maybe you want to use a smaller uh, taco shells or something like that. But just basic, basic taco. And it looks a lot like uh, a Taco Bell taco. <laughs> Uh, the filling does anyway. So I'm gonna tell you, it is freaking delicious. Um, it's it's not so important in this case uh, what to put in here. 
it's just it's really important that the flavors you want to brown the hamburger meat as you're doing it you want to do that kind of slowly and uh, use a slotted spoon when putting it in here so that uh, and you want to you know use a very very lean ground beef uh, because of all these flavors and everything you don't need excess fat but you do want to wherever you can you want to skim fat so that it doesn't taste too greasy or oily uh, there's a train coming i'm enjoying my meal could you imagine though and you could do different things if you didn't want to use ground beef you could use a uh, steak you could use chicken uh, a variety of and you could lay these out back to back to back to back to back in like, like one of those disposable uh tin trays with the, with the with the little tin that you fold over it and then you could take it to your holiday party for something different and then what you would do is because they're so op openable you could just keep the the tomato and lettuce separate diced but separate uh or br bring the vegetables with you and slice it right there uh, if you want to add it or something like that, you know, I'm not a, I'm not a salad person. I'll eat a salad on the side, I should say, you know, and it's more of a Caesar and everything like that. But the main thing is that salads, uh -oh, I want to get meat on this. <laughs> uh, what I did was I browned these uh, tortillas in a, uh, I don't have a tortilla, uh, you know, heater or warmer or anything like that. I used a cast iron. I just throw this in the bottom of a cast iron. Uh, with some oil and butter, uh, not a heavy amount, just enough to coat it, uh, and then brown it on each side, and yeah, it's cool. Uh, I'd really be able to dig in here if I weren't uh, talking. It doesn't look quite so luscious once I started cutting into this, but anyway, this is my this is my dinner tonight, uh, and I'm not uh, I'm not. This isn't a this isn't a matter of. Uh, you know, poverty that I'm eating so sparse. It is a a, a dietary thing. This large, uh, say, I want to say it's a, let's see, it's a. This has got to be a, a. I don't know. Hold on one second. Which I'm gonna pause. Okay, so I wanted to check. I wanted to check. In these uh, vegetables, there's there's not too much in the way of, of carbs, and there's not too much in the way of carbs in the meat. Uh, maybe maybe in some of the seasoning, because it, I did use a, a, a taco blend to, to add a little bit of, uh, it was a sauce. And I don't forget, I don't recall the name of it. Uh, I should have looked while I was over there. Uh, but you can do that by hand too. There are recipes on how you can like create your own uh, flavors and everything like that from, from your stock of seasonings and, and sauces. But uh, mostly, uh, even without that though, I, I have made some really, really great taco blends. Uh, bell peppers uh, are essential in, in taco flavoring, I think. A uh, little bit of garlic, but you don't want to overpower it because you don't want to eat like basically a, to a, a mouthful of garlic with something like this. Um, anyway, oh, that's good. Okay, so what I wanted to do is I wanted to look. These are the, I, I, I fit this in the bottom of a a, a cake pan, and and a nine inch cake pan. That's how big these uh, uh, large. Uh, you know, tortillas are, and I've seen them even larger, but uh, if I were going to do it at a party, I'd do them a little bit smaller. And then, you know, put your shredded cheese, that's a craft, a sharp cheddar that I'm using, and uh, maybe maybe if I were to do another one tomorrow, and I probably will be my lunch tomorrow, I'll put a lot more cheese on it. But uh, yeah, so um, the, the carbs primarily are going to come from the uh, tortilla itself. And that uh, is 23 grams of carbs. So if I say 23 carbs, I mean 23 grams of carbs. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and add another five for additional or incidental uh, carbs that may have come from other sources in this. So one of these is 30 carbs. And if I want to stay under 50 grams of carbs, then I don't need to eat more than one of these a day. And I need to watch whatever else I eat and make sure that I'm not exceeding that.
So, um, you know, for, for a keto uh, diet, key, a very strict keto diet, some are more flexible than others. Um, if I want to keep the healthy benefit that I've gotten from keto that I've been doing for a couple of years, uh, even though I'm not like a paragon of, of physical health, that's not what it, that's not what I look like. I, I, I am healthy uh, physically. And if I want to maintain that, then I have to maintain the habits that got me here from a, a status of, of being uh, actively diabetic type two to now I'm uh, it's been so long that uh, that effectively I'm, I'm not diabetic. Uh, that potential is always there you know, uh, but this, we caught it early and I was able to reverse it. Even a type two, if you let it go for so long, uh, you know, it could be damaging enough to the organs that maybe it doesn't reverse. So, you know, we do have time to adjust our habits and get healthier until one day we don't have time. Nothing is uh, infinite and everything is definite except for uh, basic energy uh, that just changes form, changes shape. Okay, that's my philosophical thing about that. But, you know, uh, we want to be as healthy and as happy as we possibly can. So taking care of our, uh, you know, ourselves through uh, healthier diet choices and yes, portion control and uh, smaller amounts uh, on the plate throughout the day, instead of two or three large meals, have five to six smaller portions so that the body can burn that a little bit more efficiency, uh, efficiently. And yes, get some physical activity in where you can, even if you uh, are challenged. Uh, uh, let me just uh, turn away from this food because I'm cut it up. <laughs> so even if you are uh, challenged with some mobility, fidget, you know, don't fidget. Remember we used to say that, don't say, well, you know, uh, yeah, do that, do that. Turn on some music uh, and rock back and forth and, and everything like that. Do what you can, uh, you know, don't stay sedentary. Always be, always be moving if you can, because movement is a uh, chewing up calories in the body. So that's good. Okay. That's, that's my advice, but really let's get back to this taco. It is delish. Uh, and, uh, yeah. Uh, so my, what I want to do is I want to do the vegetables to, uh, recap. I want to do the vegetables. That's your aromatic vegetables. Uh, you even could throw in, uh, some chunks of carrots or something like that if you wanted to, although carrot has some incidental carbs or, you know, that would raise it up a little bit more, but, but I'm talking about just little, 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 uh, diced bits and not swimming, swimming. And there's probably some in, in, in the blend anyway, some, some juice to the care, but anyway, yeah, get, look it up recipes that you work. But if you, like I said, if you do the vegetables, grill the vegetables and then put them in a broth, uh, you know, and do that the day before, or at least several hours before, but let it sit uh, in the refrigerator, let it cool down, let the uh, fats uh, come up and skim off as much of that as you can, because you're gonna get that, you're gonna get some some fatty flavors when you're grilling your meat in the in the vegetable, blend, vegetable blend the next day. But yeah, let's get uh, two day tacos, you know. Uh, and this is really delicious, guys. Um, it's not a straightforward recipe. A lot of cooking is uh, is a lot of kitchen poach po uh, uh, kitchen potion making, uh, kitchen alchemy, basically. And what it is is that you're just uh, tasting the food as you're adding, and you're kind of going by taste. That is a, that stuff like this. That, that's what you do with it. You know, baking, maybe you follow a hardcore recipe, but with this, uh, things like this in skillets and, and adding flavors and everything, you really just have to go 
with your taste buds. Uh, you, you have your basic guides on what to add, and then you have to go by your taste buds. I just clicked over to 15 minutes. I'm going to say I love you guys. Peace out. Good night. As always, love and light. Bye.